Success as an AC and independent business owner is not guaranteed, but rather influenced by an individual's specific efforts. No one is guaranteed success as an IBO. This presentation was recorded during the Sydney International Event March 24-26, 2017. This presentation may contain information regarding the ACN compensation plan, promotions and product pricing which has changed since the date of the recording. Views expressed and any claims or comparisons made by IBOs presenting are theirs and not ACNs. Please check acnpacific.com and the IBO back office for an up-to-date information. Awesome. So guys, uh, my, my topic today is uh, driving momentum through taprooting. I almost feel like this topic should be illegal to share with you because this is the way to get to RVP. This is the easiest way to drive yourself to regional vice president. And to have a great career in ACN, you need to be a regional vice president. So who's ready to be RVP? Yeah. Awesome. So what you really, it might sound like a big job. It might sound like a hard job to do, but let me break it down to you. So all you need is four separate organizations with a team coordinator in each one. It does not matter which level they are on. And my job today is to show you the quickest way to actually find these team coordinators and so, so let's talk about the topic. So what, what, what is momentum? Momentum is fast movement. It's constant production. We're talking about customers that are coming through your business constantly. Business owners, IBOs that are coming through your business constantly. Okay, and then that means with or without you. What is taprooting? Taprooting is finding leaders levels deep in your organization. It doesn't matter if it's on your level 10 or your level 500. Is this making sense? And it's a path of least resistance because what happens as you're building deep down your organizations, you're finding people that are hungry. You're finding people that want it more than you. And is it easier working with them rather than the people that you have to drag? Exactly. So taproot all the way down until you find those leaders. And we taproot all the time anyway. How many people in the room today know you have a best friend that they actually met through someone else that wasn't so close? You've just taprooted someone for a best friend. How, how many people are married here in the room? How many people regret it? <laughs> Lucky my wife's not here, right? Can we cut this, by the way? <laughs> all right, so we tap it all the time anyway. So maybe you met your, 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 your wife or husband through someone else, and now you're actually having dinner. You're out there with, with a family that you didn't previously know, and now all of a sudden, you may, maybe it's not always a good thing. You maybe don't like everyone in the family, right? Maybe your mother-in-law does no, don't, don't, don't get offended on that. <laughs> So, so what is a leader in ACN? A leader in ACN is a momentum creator. It is someone that can be dropped anywhere around the world, knowing nobody and can build momentum. Even if they were dropped in Antarctica, they will recruit a bear. Seriously, they, they can make it happen. Like MD Raman, for example, he didn't know many people here, did he? Did he make it happen? Yes. It's taking initiative, someone that takes initiative, not somebody that you have to drag all the time. Someone that, cause IBO support on their own. Somebody that gets a customer on their own. Someone that does a, does a presentation that set, takes initiative to move their business forward. Who wants people like this? Exactly, and it's someone that creates energy. Someone that, how many people do you know that walk inside a room and out of nowhere the energy just, just, just rose? You know those people, and when they leave, you know they left. Because the exit just, the, the energy just exited the room. But how many times do you know people that walk inside a room and they leave and it's like, oh, he was here. <laughs> they don't have the energy, you need to have the energy. So let's talk about farming for leaders. So pretend you're a farmer for a second. And would a farmer you know, have, a, have a massive field and plant three seeds and grab a chair, sit down in front of the seeds and just say, hey, uh, I believe in you guys. I think you can make, it. I've seen you guys grow before, here's some water, or do they plant thousands of seeds knowing some won't grow and hundreds of crops will grow? That's a farmer. So I want you to have the attitude of a farmer today, yes? And I'm gonna give you a couple of examples while you're taprooting, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for. So there was a sower, he was very ambitious and he went around, he tried to you know, grow a crop and, and he had excellent seed. Excellent seed means excellent idea, excellent opportunity, excellent... ACN, ACN is an excellent opportunity, yes or no? So he had excellent seed and he started planting and this time he, he planted it on, um, in a field and it, as he walked away, the birds came and got it and they flew away. And they had two choices, chase the birds and leave the field or expect it to move on. John promises you that he's gonna sign up in the business and he's gonna be at the weekly event on Saturday. John doesn't show up. 
John doesn't answer his phone, doesn't reply to you for a whole week. John's been active on Facebook though, he's been posting every single day. You found out that his brother put him off the business. So do you call his brother and say, hey, listen, man, you got a problem, this is my business. If you wanna stuff up my business, let's meet up face to face and settle like real men, take no gloves. Do you do that? Or do you just expect it to move on? It's just the way it is. And I want you guys to repeat after me. Every time something happens that's interesting in your business, just repeat after me. Very, very interesting. Repeat it. Very, very interesting. And move on. That's it. Now, the sower was ambitious. Some people would have quit by now. And this time, it fell on rocky, shallow ground. And it started to grow, but it couldn't withstand the heat, and it withered and died. Okay, so Steve gets in the business. He's not coachable. He wants to do his own thing. And you told him he needs to follow the system to have a, you know, a, a great presentation. He does everything on his own. No one shows up. He quits because it doesn't work. Move on. It's just the way it is. Repeat after me. Very, very interesting. And you move on. And you keep sowing. You're ambitious. And this time it falls on thorny ground. So it starts to grow, but it withers and dies because it kept getting choked by the plants. And those thorns were the excuses being made. How many people know people that make a bunch of excuses? Yes, keep your hand up if you've made excuses. If you put them down, don't lie to me. Even I've made excuses, we've all made excuses. So let those thorns go, right? You know, some, right now, someone in the room here, or plenty of people will make a commitment, I'm gonna be here forever, I'm gonna go all the way, be at every single BOM. Three weeks later, they hit a couple of obstacles, they're not there, your upline calls. Oh, I had to you know, go grocery shopping for my wife. You couldn't do that on the next day. You couldn't do that before the event or after the event. You're gonna get this. So it's just the way it is. Repeat after me, very, very interesting. That's it, and you just move on. But this is where I'm going. You kept on going. You were ambitious, and this time it fell on fertile ground. Okay, and it always will if you just keep on going. But when there was fertile ground, there was still 30 percenters, 60 percenters, and 100 percenters. 30 percenters get in the business, and they just want to get customers. They don't want to do anything else. 60 percenters are hot and cold. One week they're on, one week they're off, one week they're excited, one week they're complaining, whatever. The 100 percenters are here today, first of all. The 100 percenters, exactly. The 100 percenters... Uh, at every single event, taking initiatives, they are leaders, they do a home presentation, they do another one, they go all the way to SVP and that's who we're looking for. So what you're really doing is you're taprooting the 30 percenters and the 60 percenters to find who? The 100 percenters. And then when you find the 100 percenters, guess what you want to do then? You find more 100 percenters. You don't stop there and get excited and think you've retired. You keep on going. Fair enough? Awesome, and this is, the, this is the key, this is what's interesting. You need to become good at listening to what people do, not what they say. Because the 30 percenters and the 60 percenters will actually try to convince you that they're 100 percenters. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Exactly, and it's just the way it is, guys. So let's look at the attitudes of a taprooter. I work with the people that deserve me. 80 percent of your time goes on the 100 percenters, 20 percent of your time goes on everybody else, fair enough? I build new relationships. This is really interesting. This is important. So if you're building deep down your organization, you don't send a chain of command for everybody to do Chinese whispers and send their messages through. You build relationships. I have Albert Toma, team coordinator in my team. And what happened with Albert Toma, I, I met him at an event and I picked up that this guy could be a champion. I, I just felt it. And what happened, he didn't get involved for three months. I, I kept in contact with him, got his number, Facebook, friends. Three months, he didn't get started but we stayed friends. And then he wanted to catch up. I was thinking, okay, maybe he's ready. He wanted to catch up for a coffee. I'm like, all right, whatever, we'll, we'll catch up. Guess what? Got started shortly after, four to five months, he was a team coordinator. Is that fair enough? Now he's one of my best friends. You build relationships. Now I always think long-term and get people paid levels deep. So this means you keep getting everybody paid. Matter of fact, only get the people paid that you wanna keep. If you don't wanna keep them, don't get them paid. <laughs> and when you become, when you're an ETT, executive team trainer, and there's another executive team trainer under you, do you stop working there? No, stop being short-sighted. Oh, he blocked me off, I can't work there. Are you kidding me? You keep working, ETR blocks you, you keep on working. If you wanna be selfish, <laughs> it's actually better to be selfish if you build levels deep under every single person to generate a massive empire, but we're not selfish at ACN, are we? Exactly. So think long-term, get everybody paid. If you get blocked off, keep building levels deep. 
I always grow to attract better leaders. So let's just say from a one to 10 in leadership, you are a three. And you're angry because you can't recruit the nines. What do you need to do? You need to become a nine. You need to become a 10. Always go through personal growth so that you're always attracting better leaders. Yes or no? Yes. Let's look at what we're looking for in the business. So what to look for in a leader? You're looking for a whip list. You're looking for someone that has work ethic. You're looking for someone that has hunger, integrity, and personal power. Now, work ethic, I have a, a guy in my team named Philip Panagiotidis. It's a little bit of a, a Greek name. <laughs> my wife's Greek. Um, and, and he just gets out there in the morning, starts picking so many people, comes back at night. He's not even tired. He goes back the next day, does the same thing. He just talks to people all the time. Seriously, he works harder than me. <laughs> and when you find someone that works harder than you, that's, that's excellent. Yes or no? And, and hunger, let me tell you something, Hamid Singh Bajwa, the, one that you, the, the, the champion that you just saw there, he was about to close off team coordinator. We set a goal day and we weren't gonna get there in time. So I said, Hamid, you need to take a week off work. We did not further discuss this. He went to his boss, he just got his new job and he said, listen, I need a, a week off work. You know what his boss said? He said, we're gonna have to look into that. Hamid replied and said, if you don't give it to me, I'm just gonna leave the job altogether. <laughs> so don't do this, <laughs> but is that hungry? That's hungry. And did he close it off? Yes, 94 days. Integrity, integrity. They say and do. They do something, they say they're gonna do it, they actually do it, right? They say they're gonna be in a meeting, they're there early. Fair enough? Personal power, they invite people and people show up. That's who you wanna look for, that's your leader. Signs of this is 15 plus customer points fast, executive team trainer, executive team leader fast, successful home presentations, committed to events, and they do what they say. And a tip, if the people that you're calling and trying to recruit are the opposite of this, stop calling them. Come to a meeting, then it show up. 10 times later, come to a meeting, then it show up. You know who you should stop calling right now. <laughs> Make a note, stop calling them. So I want you to focus on the right things. And let's, let's look at what we can control. Control what you can. So can we control if we pique someone's interest, if we arouse their interest about the business, give them a call, can we do that? Yes, come on, bring it louder. Can we control if they come to the presentation? Yes. No, we can't. <laughs> what are you doing? Is this uh, you, uh, intimidation or put them in a the boot? What, what are you doing? <laughs> There's none of that in AC and read the terms and conditions, right? How about, can we control whether they sign up or not? No, we can't. Can we control whether they get qualified or not? You can influence them, you can't control that. What if they went on witness protection and they ran away, who knows? You can't control, can you control if someone attends events or not? No, can you control if they get promoted or not? No, you can influence, but can you control if they duplicate you? No, so why are we getting so caught up in all the emotions when we can, can, cannot control most of this stuff here? The only thing that you should get upset about for yourself is that you're not picking enough people. If you're picking enough people, you're gonna get more results. Does that make sense? And you're, what you're doing, you're just observing if they follow the system. So in the background, you've got this mental list here and you're just trying to see if they make it down the list. You're not trying to make them go down the list. Make sense? Just watch them. If they make it down the list, that's one of your leaders. So, yep. So this is what it's like, working with the wrong person, okay? So check this out. What happens is you recruit a donkey, okay? And this donkey, you've got, you, you have water on the side, the water's pure, the water's beautiful, and you know the water is helpful and beneficial for the, for the donkey. It's ACN. So what you're doing, you say, hey, donkey, oh, well, you don't know it's a donkey yet, but you're saying, hey, you need to get qualified. So you pull the donkey a little bit, and the donkey pulls back. And then you say, hey, but we need a home presentation. So you pull the donkey, and then the donkey pulls back even harder, it's stubborn. And now you put, you're in a tug of war with this donkey, trying to pull, pull, pull all the way, and the donkey's pulling, and you still haven't figured out what it is. So you call your upline and say, hey, listen, I've got this potential champion in the team, and um, I need you to come uh, give him a little bit of a nudge. So your upline comes from behind and grabs a donkey <laughs> and starts pushing this donkey. It's a donkey. <laughs> Let go. Start to realize, listen to what they do, not what they say. If they're doing all the wrong things, move on. Fair enough. But check this out. This is what it's like working with the right people. You're rolling with a pack of lions. 
I'm telling you now, you are going with a bunch of lions going down the street and everybody just gets out of your way. And you have all these hyenas in the background laughing at you. And you have all these uh, creatures in the jungle saying, yeah, these guys, we're going to take you down one day. Can, you take, can they take you down? No, because you're a bunch of lions. So you need, to be a bunch, you need to be a lion first and then go and attract and find lions and roll with them because I'm telling you now, you will be the king of ACN. Fair enough. Who's ready to be the king of ACN? Let's do it, guys. So let's look at the, the skills to become an, an effective tap rooter. You need to present and train quickly. Learn how to present and train quickly. You, you, you obviously hear songs sometimes on the radio or somewhere, and you start singing along with that song. What are you doing? You have, you're helping someone else that sang that song make residual income. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you don't even know your own wealth residual income song, which is the one to 10. I put people in my, te in my team on the spot sometimes. I say, okay, give me box number five. <laughs> You've been in the business for four months and you're, you're complaining that you can't get to executive team leader. Be a leader. So learn how to present and train. 24-hour game plan, get people started and launch fast. Home presentation, two-on-one, three-way calls. Learn how to set up and execute. Sharing vision, this is so important. Sharing vision. Let me tell you something. A human eye can only see five kilometers from here. Yes or no? So do you think that if someone has traveled an extra five kilometers from where you have, they can see a little bit more than you? How about 5,000 kilometers? They can see a little bit more than you. You need to be that person for everyone else when they get involved in the business. They need to know what's down the road. They need to know what's coming up. They need to know there's wealth, there's freedom, there's happiness, there's hope. You need to be the person that tells them about the comp plan or whatever's gonna happen in the future. Does ACN always impress us all the time? So share vision all the time. Follow-ups, there's two types of follow-ups. The first follow-up, when you see people and you try to get them in the business by giving them a call immediately the next day. Second type of follow-up is, personally, I, have, I, I follow up with certain people every three months. Why? Because they are champions. I feel like they could be something huge. So Hamid Singh Bajwa, I met him at a home presentation. The host of the home presentation quit a week later. But hey, I made friends with Hamid. I took his number, took his Facebook, we started contacting each other. Every three months I contacted Hamid. For, year, for a year and a half, Hamid turned around, and this is the most aggressive he's ever been to me. He said, Sinan, I'm not interested in the business. This is not for me. It's not a part of my DNA. I want to do my dad's business, and that's all I want to do. I'm like, ooh, attitude. Okay. <laughs> three months later, I had my baby boy. And I said, I don't care. I'm going to speak to 300 people. I spoke to 300 people. Hamid Singh Bajwa was one of them. Got started immediately, 94 days, team coordinator. Was it worth talking to him? Was it worth a follow-up? Attending and promoting events. You need to attend events. Make it a lifestyle. Promoting events. Always promote the events. All the time, everywhere. Every next event, promote. Remaining in phase one. Always acquiring customers and always, uh, always acquiring business partners. Either from yourself or through your team. Dress code. Dress in accordance to how much money you want to make. I'll repeat that. Dress in accordance to how much money you want to make. And even if you dress well and you stink, if you're sitting in front of somebody and you look good but you don't smell good, do you think they're looking at the vision that you're sharing about the future? They're thinking, I want to get out of this place as soon as possible. That's what they're thinking. So hygiene is a part of it. all of that. Being well-groomed, all of that is a part of this. You know, I started learning this as, you know, ETT, ETR. I started dressing better and better and better. And then I thought, hold on, I can look as wealthy as I want to be. They just think I'm an executive. Who cares? I'm an executive. Wear, dress well. Great listener. When you're listening to people, what you're doing, you're gathering intelligence. You're listening to what they want. Don't impose what you want on them. What they want is your tool to tailor the presentation and everything to them and attract them and let them know their goals and dreams are, tr are possible with you. Is this making sense? So listen, stop talking so much. Becoming a pro tap rooter. It creates massive momentum. It makes you a top producer, okay? And, and, and people will follow. What happened with me, I got, I got annoyed with my team uh, last year, this time last year. And I was at an international event. You said, you know what, you just don't worry about this guy. I'm going to Sydney. I met one guy, Abu Dhabi, he's actually a champion, he's in the room today, and I had a chat with him, and he's a business coach. So we had a bit of a chat, and I said, 
he wanted me to move to Sydney. I'm like, what, you, you, you're crazy? I'm not gonna move to Sydney. First of all, I don't like Sydney. So, <laughs> don't kick me out of Sydney though. <laughs> anyway, so um, we, I, I got to Sydney and we recruited 70 people in his first month. Now what happened with my team in Melbourne, I started getting phone calls. Hey, Sinan, brother, when are you coming back? Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> brother, I wanna close off Team Coordinator. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. So when I started producing something crazy, everybody else wanted to follow. I came back here within three months, we popped two Team Coordinators. A Couple months later, we popped another Team Coordinator. Is that all right? And it creates a fun environment. When you constantly have new people joining the business, you have new reasons why. You have new environment, new energy, and it's fun. People can see you going places. And it finds you leaders. This is really important because the, the more volume of business owners that are coming through your business all the time, do you think it's more likely to have those rare leaders in those groups of people? Yes or no? So the more people that are getting involved, the more likely you're gonna have leaders within those groups of people. This is a root. Now the deeper that you build your root into the ground, the stronger your team's gonna be. So the deeper you go, the more foundation you have. If there's a storm, is it gonna knock this tree over? No, and by the way, there was many more that we could have put up, it's just we had to select the right, the right amount. And, and this tree, so when, the bigger the root, the bigger the tree of prosperity, of financial freedom, of happiness, of, of charity, of holidays, who likes holidays? All these things will be on this tree. Money does grow on trees in ACN. You just gotta build a big root, <laughs> fair enough? But then you have another root here. And that one there, if a storm comes to that root, would it, would, it, would it die? Would it get blown away? Yes. So if you have a small foundation, you need to go deep into the ground. This is one of the teams that I've built. I've actually taken a screenshot. We couldn't fit it in one page. This was in three weeks. Is that exciting? That was from one person and we just made it all the way down through. And I couldn't even fit them all on one page, right? So, so that's what you need. If you only have two greens, don't get excited. What are you excited about? You need to build massive organizations, fair enough? And I'm sure some leaders in the room here will have like tens of pages like this, so. What I want you guys to do is just ponder on something. So I'm gonna ask you guys questions and I want you to reply, fair enough? So when driving momentum and tap rooting, would you like your team to be liars? Come on guys, work with me here. Would you like them to be cheaters? No. Lazy? No. Unhygienic? No. Arrogant? No. Misrepresent the opportunity? No. Complainers? No. Full of excuses? No. Unreliable? No. Political? No. Would you like them to be motivated? Yes. Honest? Yes. Loyal and trustworthy? Yes. Hardworking? Yes. Integrity? Yes. Posture and willpower? Yes. Committed and passionate? Yes. Strong desire? Yes. Reliable? High morals? Yes. Wow. Now let me tell you something, your energy changed when it was about the good people. But a lot of you are hypocrites in the room. Let me tell you why, you possess half the bad things and you don't possess half the good things. So this is my key, this is what I want you guys to get out of today as well, is you need to become the person that you wanna sponsor. Stop trying to get Michael Jordan in your team when you have never picked up a ball before. You need to go out there and become the person, practice. Be that gun, be that person. Fair enough? Yeah. And my call to action to you guys is go out there and present, 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 present. How many levels deep down can you go? You wanna go so deep that you just don't know who to work with anymore because there's so many leaders there. And you wanna get plenty of no's. If I told you right now, even if you went out there and got 2,000 no's, even 2,000 no's, and you'll be RVP and above, would you do that? Then do it. Play a game with yourself. Make the negative that people get scared about into a positive, okay? It's fun, get rejected, who cares? You'll be an RVP. Who do you know? Someone gets started. Who do you know? Someone doesn't get started. Who do you know? Someone becomes a customer. Who do you know? Someone doesn't become a customer. Who do you know? Always, who do you know? Repeat that, who do you know? Repeat it, who do you know? Urgency, meet 15 people in the next four days, maximum seven days. And if you don't have urgency, you're not gonna win. You need the urgency, you need the urgency. And last but not least, is you need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself all the time. I got to regional vice president and I, I realized, hold on a second, the growth I've had was to get to regional vice president. Ooh, now I need to grow into an SVP. You always need to grow. 
So you need to be, do, and have. You need to become the person that you need to become so you, and do the things that you need to do so you deserve to have what you deserve to have. Everybody wants to just have. You can't have. Stop wishing. So I wanna close it off now and you know, thank you guys so much. I hope I have served you guys and hey, we are ACN, woo!